yo what up? what up what up what up welcome back to the galaxy welcome welcome yes in this video i'm talking about pip coin being sent to one dollar by satoshi nakamoto and i know some people are really taking it back y'all like what satoshi nakamoto there ain't no way bruh there ain't no way satoshi nakamoto is behind pip coin are you just out of your mind you're freaking stupid man I understand some people are still in denial of the fact that Satoshi Nakamoto is probably helping out the Pipcoin. I will show today really compelling evidence to show that the guy who invented blockchain, the guy who invented the first crypto, and the guy who's responsible for 90% of the Bitcoin white paper is publicly doxxed as the advisor for Pipcoin. I know some people are still going to deny this fact. Some people are still not going to buy Pipcoin. Some people are going to ignore the gem, even though it hits them on the side of the head. And that's cool. It's the more pip coin for me, right? Like this is the best gem that I have found since Caspa. And ever since I first learned about pip coin, ever since I first bought it, ever since I first started talking about the one and only pip, it has gone up 2x. Meanwhile, everyone else is sitting on dead ass bags that ain't pumping, that ain't doing anything. And here I am. And here my group is with pip coin. We're up 2x and it's just getting Started. Man, there's so much to talk about in this stream today. I'm so excited. I'm going to go through the Satoshi Nakamoto, the rest of the PIP team, you know, the connections they have to get listed on Binance, to get listed on OKEx, to get listed on Kraken. How is the PIP social payment platform? So the, the, the software is already integrated with major social media platforms. I'm also going to give my price prediction for the PIP, uh, give some short term predictions and some long term predictions. Man, this is the one. Since Caspa, this is the one to be making millionaires and to become the next best crypto and achieve world domination. So with that having been said, thank you very much. Let's get into it. Let's get started. I'm so excited. First of all, we got to talk about the pumping, 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 pumping pumps, the pump, 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 pumps. It's just pumping. It's just pumping like crazy, man. It has no stop. It has no end in sight. I'm saying Pip's going to keep on pumping. I'm lucky I got in early and I was still buying Pip. Yesterday, I know people are saying, oh, man, I missed Pip coin. I'm so late. It already pumped. No, this ain't done. It's still pumping. And I'll prove it to you. Look at the volume here. Do you, have, you see how there's like, there ain't crap for volume. There's nothing. The volume has not even exceeded the launch volume. And that shows how early this is. There ain't no volume for Pip. And I go on the Pip Discord and there's only like one message every hour. There's hardly anybody on Discord. There's hardly anybody Nobody on YouTube even talks about Pip. It's only me, okay? I saw one other Pip coin video by a guy, and that, that video has like 30 views, <laughs> 30 views. And his channel just talks about every Mexi listing coin. That's it. He posts a video every four hours, and Pip just, just so happened to be one of them. I'm the only dude on YouTube and on Twitter who's actively talking about Pip and why this is a huge under-the-radar gem. Man. So many YouTubers out here are all paid chills. They're all getting paid to talk about the stupidest cryptos. I ain't getting paid by anybody. This is my honest, genuine opinion on legit cryptos. I'm actually making money in the bear market. My portfolio has doubled in the past two months, three months because of Caspa, and it's going to double again in the next two months because of Pip. You make the choice. You make the call. I'm just saying I'm really excited because I'm making money. My picks are going really well, and Pip is a great coin, and Satoshi Nakamoto is helping this go all the way to a dollar. So you're like, man, just tell me, Galaxy, who is the Satoshi Nakamoto? I don't believe you. I think you're full of crap. Well, check it out, my friend. Here we got, all right, from the Pipcoin team, David Chalm, advisory board member, is a computer scientist, cryptographer, and inventor. He is known as a pioneer in the crypto cryptography and privacy preserving technologies and widely recognized as the inventor of digital cash. Dude, he invented the first crypto. Hello? <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that this is a, a link to Satoshi Nakamoto? Apparently, I'm the only one. And that's not it. There's more. Let's get into more information on this guy, who I'm calling Satoshi Nakamoto. I mean, when you, di when you dive deep into this and do the research, it goes a lot deeper than you would think. And I know some people are saying, oh, well, Satoshi Nakamoto was one person. No, that's a huge lie. That is a huge lie that whatever media you listen to tells you to believe that Satoshi is uh, one anonymous individual. That is a complete fat lie. Satoshi Nakamoto is a multiple people. It's a group of people. There ain't no way one person could have invented Bitcoin. It's impossible. 
it's so technically complicated that it was a revolutionary tech at the time. It required a team of multiple people. I'm saying about 10 people were Satoshi Nakamoto's, and a lot of people are already claiming to be Satoshi. And this guy is one of the Satoshi Nakamoto's. He's one of them. David Shum. All right. In 19... Okay, so he's known as a pioneer in crypto. In 1982, his dissertation, Computer Systems Established, Maintained, and Trusted by Mutually Suspicious Groups, is the first known proposal for blockchain protocol. Hello? <laughs> Hello? The first known proposal for blockchain protocol. What does that tell you? I'm making my assumption, okay? When I hear it's the first known proposal for blockchain protocol, this dude is being heavily referenced by Satoshi and the Bitcoin white paper and probably was a Satoshi Nakamoto. The guy who invented blockchain is a Pipcoin advisor. But I, okay, it's apparently it's just me. Apparently I'm the only one who has connected to the dots and I think this is bullish. I know a lot of other people are going to miss out on Pip and that's cool, man. That's cool. Um, don't buy any pip. Just give me more time to buy it because I'm still accumulating. Pip is still a gem. So David Chalm's uh, dis dissertation proposed all but one element of the blockchain later detailed in the Bitcoin white paper. What? You telling me <clears throat> that the pip advisor, David Chalm, proposed all but one element of the blockchain in the Bitcoin white paper. Dude, he was like 99% responsible for the plans of the blockchain of Bitcoin. This is the dude. This is the man. And apparently people still want to say, oh, well, no one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. And uh, well, technically, you know, Satoshi Nakamoto was one person. And, and, and technically, Satoshi Nakamoto is anonymous. No one really knows who Satoshi is. He was just a random guy in Japan. Uh-uh. Satoshi Nakamoto is... Dude, people know Satoshi is just a pseudonym for a group of multiple computer scientists and mathematicians and other people in the currency space that understand what's going on. The godfather of cryptocurrency, he is known for inventing eCash, which was the first ever crypto invented in 1995, DigiCash. The first one. He invented the first crypto before Bitcoin. Everyone thinks that Bitcoin was the first crypto, but it wasn't. This guy, David Chelm, invented the first Bitcoin, DigiCash, way back in the 90s. And then Bitcoin came out later after some revisions to the blockchain, and he helped create Bitcoin. So, I don't know, I don't know, man. I, I think there's something going on here. I'm pretty sure this dude is Satoshi Nakamoto. And the fact that he's a Satoshi, it's going to help Pip get all the way sent up to a dollar, bigger exchange listings, make a lot of money for people in the next bull run, and achieve world domination. Pipcoin right now, it's only 18 million market cap. That's it. It's only 18 million. Man, when the next bull run. So Pip, Pipcoin is already in a bull run. Like, I'm convinced Pipcoin is going to be in a permanent bull run, like in an indefinite bull run, until the actual bull run. Because, like, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, the bull run ain't here. Well, no, the bull run's not here for most cryptos, but the bull run is here for Caspa, and the bull run is here for Pip. It's already in a bull run. I mean, look at the chart. Is this not bullish? Dude, this is crazy bullish. It's just curving up ways. That's it. New all-time high, new all-time high, new all-time high. There ain't no stop in the PIP coin. Nothing. And there's not even any volume. Like, PIP has not gone mainstream. They haven't paid for any marketing. I I'm it. Like, I'm the only marketing for PIP. I'm serious. A everyone watching this is, like, super lucky to be learning about the information of PIP because I'm the only one who talks about it. You, you tell me. Who else is talking about PIP? No one. I don't know anyone else talking about PIP. I was really fortunate that some people in my Patreon group came to me with PIP and said, yo, fam, check out the PIP. And I was like, holy freaking crap. Yo, thank you so much. PIP is the one. PIP is the next best opportunity since Caspop. So PIP's going to keep pumping. <clears throat> and let's check out why. We know what makes cryptos pump. Obviously, world domination and, and adoption helps. But what is it that propels the adoption forward? It's the big exchange listings. As the saying goes, everyone says, when Binance, when Coinbase, <laughs> we know when cryptos get listed on big exchanges, they just go pump, 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 pump. And especially for an 18 mil market cap, it's going to pump, 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 pump. So 
What is the connection to Binance, you ask? I'll show you. It's this dude right here, Jin Chow. Jin is the founder of No Limit Holdings, blah, blah, blah. He was a strategy officer at Binance. Ugh, excuse me. At Binance.com and currently serves at a, as a board member at Binance US. So a current Binance US employee and a former Binance.com strategy officer <clears throat> is an advisor behind PIP. So <clears throat> he has the connections and the means to get PIP on Binance. And that's not all. Check out this other guy, Jack C. Liu. 10 years in the blockchain. He was a director of strategy at Kraken. If you didn't know, Kraken is like a really big U.S. exchange. And he was a chief strategy officer at OKEX, which, if you didn't know, another really big exchange. PIP right now is only listed on Bybit, Gate, Mexi, and Hotbit. Really small, sketchy exchanges. All right, they're not completely sketchy. I use Mexi. Shout out to Mexi. I do like Mexi. I use Mexi. So if you were trying to buy PIP, I recommend Mexi. I have a link in the description below. Use Mexi, probably the least sketchy of, you know, buy a bit gate and hop it. But this has potential to become the next OKEX listing, to be the next KuCoin listing, to become the next Binance listing, to become the next Coinbase listing, and to become the most widely adopted social payments crypto in the world. So what is it? This is a social payment crypto integrated already. Again, this is not future promises because I know a lot of cryptos out here are potential promises of stuff to come in the future that will happen eventually, right? This one is already done. The PIP coin has been developed for the past one and a half years and they're done. They've developed everything they need. It's already on Twitter, Reddit, Discord, Twitch, and GitHub. You can transfer Dogecoin over the BNB network on Twitter using a PIP wallet, and you can send it to anybody who has a PIP extension enabled, like, you know, their name at pip.me or whatever. So you can already send Dogecoin across to other people on Twitter. Is that not big? Apparently, I'm the only one that thinks this is big news. Like, this is actually revolutionary peer-to-peer -peer payment systems that's going to help the blockchain space a lot, man. It's looking good. Yo, everyone smash up the like button. Let's go. Let's head it up. Everyone hit the like button. Yo, and, and this guy says, Real Living says, <laughs> this guy is a broke shell. <laughs> Real Living Investing, I'm sorry, man, but you're more like Real Living um, getting broken because you have potential to become the next homeless person because you don't know how to do any research. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. We Future Crypto says, like, go, pump it up. Yeah, we got to pump it up. And let's go. Hit up the like button. Let's go, man. We got to pump it up in here. It's pumping. Pip is already pumping. And it's like people don't believe me. And I'm like, dude, just look at the chart. Like, hello. I've been heavily invested in Pip since, like, here. Here's where I first started talking about Pip. Here's when I sent out the buy alerts. Here's when I made the, fir made the first YouTube video on Pip. And now it's like, now after pumping, everyone goes, oh, so I guess Pip was decent after all. Like, yes, it was good the whole time. Everything that I said today... It's the same crap I've been saying since back here. And it's like, I don't understand. Some people just don't want to buy until after the pumps. And then they go, oh, I forgot. Pip was a decent pick. Okay. Like, dude, got to get in early. But it's still early. Like, I admit, I'm also guilty. I was still buying Pip yesterday. I bought Pip here. I bought Pip here. And I bought Pip here. I just keep buying Pip. I can't stop buying Pip. I think it's the next Casper. Now, I'll admit, it's not as good as Casper, but... It's up there. Like, this is the best gem that I have found since Caspa. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, nothing can compare to Caspa, but I haven't seen anything else better than Pip. You know what I mean? So, it's doing good. To be calm, says UPS Gaming. Absolutely. Achmed says, hi, man. Have a good stream. Appreciate your hard work. Could you tell me, please, when Pip might dip? What's your price prediction? And what is your thoughts on Nexa? Achmed, man, thank you so much for being on the Patreon and supporting my channel. Any questions you have, my bro, I will answer gladly. Um, so when will Pip dip? Man, I don't know if there's a dip coming. Like, if Pip dips, if Pip dips, it's not going to be much. Like, it might come down to 19 cents. But, you know, when you look at the volume right here, you see the volume? You see the volume? The volume today is less than the launch volume. So it's not pumped, right? Like, a pumped crypto will have a dip, but... Even though the, the price is going up, it's non-pumped. This is a really 
rare, bullish pattern, okay? Huge, like, learning moment for everyone. Huge learning moment. Pay attention. If you want to learn a bullish pattern and find the next best uh, bullish crypto, check it out. A crypto that is going up in price, but the volume is still at a low, bullish, like 10 out of 10 bullish. That is what I'm saying. I've seen this play out a few times in the past. Low volume, you see this? Low volume and price rising to all-time highs. Very bullish sign. That is a huge buy signal. Huge buy signal. Price going up. Volume staying the same. <clears throat> Very bullish signal. And why is that? You're like, okay, Galaxy, what do you mean? How do you know that, man? You're, 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 you're full of crap. You don't know that. You don't actually know that. I'll explain why. Here's what it means, right? When the price just keeps going up, when it keeps breaking all-time high after all-time high after all-time high, it means that there's not any selling pressure. People aren't selling. The biggest holders are not selling. Why are the biggest holders not selling? It's because they know there is more to come. They know there are more pumps to come. They don't want to be the guy that sold early. The big whales who are holding pip don't want to be that guy who sold early. So this means the biggest holders are diamond hands because they know what's coming. They know a big exchange listing is coming. They know that some big marketing is coming. They know some more pumps is coming. They know it's going to last another year. Whatever the case may be, the biggest holders are holding. And the, that that's the price increase explanation. Now, the low volume, why this is bullish, it means... I'm early. It means you're early. When there's a lot of volume, like when the volume just shoots up like crazy, it means it's super mainstream. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Twitter. And everybody freaking knows about it. But when the volume is like low, <clears throat> when the volume is super low, nobody knows about it. It's under the radar. The only people buying it are the pre-existing holders. The people who already knew about it just went, oh, yeah, I forgot Pip was pretty good. I'm going to go buy some more. This is not new investors. This this volume here is not really new investors. Maybe there are some new investors, but it's not like a bull run or a horde of a lot of investors. It's just a few investors. And PIP. PIP is so early that with just like $3,000, you can be in the top 1% uh, of holders, even the top like a uh, quarter of a percent of holders. That's how early PIP is. And, and, and I, you're saying, well, what do you mean there's no volume? I, I thought that there was a lot of volume in PIP. I'll show you why it's not a lot of volume. You see here on the launch? Look at this launch. This is where the volume peaked out at here. You see this? You see that little top? That's the launch volume. And you see here? The volume is only like half the size. The volume hasn't broken its previous volume all-time high, but it has potential to become the next biggest set of volume. So... All I'm saying is that, you know, hold on. Let me find my crystal ball. Oh, here it is. Here's my crystal ball. Psychic analysis, psychic prediction. What's going to happen? Okay, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be bigger candles of volume. What do you know? That's going to happen. The volume is going to surpass this volume here because we're going to have another big set of volume. Now, when is that going to happen? Any day. I don't know when. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be in two months. I don't know. Okay, so now. Now that I know that this new big volume candles are going to happen, naturally what's going to happen? Because the price hasn't pumped a lot yet, when the big bull run of volume comes in, it's going to pump the price up a lot. So here's the volume. And here's the big pumps to follow with the volume. It's like two plus two. It, it's so simple. It's a simple pattern. That's what I'm seeing here. That's exactly what I'm seeing. So when it pumps a lot, this is going to be the new pass. And everyone's going to go, oh, man, I missed Pip. I wish I, I wish I bought the Pip back here. I'm so dumb. I can't believe I missed it. Man, people are really going to get into Pip late. Getting in late. Let me get back to the question. So, so Pip, it could, Ahmed, it could dip a little bit, but not a lot. You know what I mean? Not a lot. Like, it's still early. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, it might dump, might might dip a little bit, but it's not going to be a whole lot. You know, it, it, it's pro 
here's what I would say. Like, I would say at a very lowest, Pip could possibly go at a very lowest. We're at a very, like, bare minimum 13 cents. Now, that's being, like, really bearish. I don't think it's going to go to 13 cents. But, like, worst case scenario, Pip could go to 14 cents. Best case scenario, you might be able to get Pip again at 18 cents. I don't know. It could be 14 cents or 18 cents or who knows, everyone could FOMO into PIP tomorrow and it goes to a dollar. Anything could happen. I don't know. I don't I don't control people's money. Like the whales who are watching PIP, they control their wallets. I don't control their wallets. I don't know what they're going to do. They can do whatever they want. Uh, and also thoughts on Nexa. It's okay, right? I have a really small bag of it. I don't recommend, I recommend just buying more Caspa. You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason Nexa is better than Caspa. So why why get why over diversify and buy a whole bunch of Nexa when you can just get more Caspa, right? Like that, that's all I'm saying. You know, get a small bag of Nexa if you're if you're curious about it, if you're interested. I have a small bag, but I'm just saying my Caspa bag is like two million times bigger than Nexa, dude. Like Caspa is a way better pick than Nexa and you know Dynex and Octospace and every other micro cap L1. It's it's Caspa. It's better, way better than all the other ones. Satoshi behind Feg, Caspa, and now Pip. Uh, I never said Satoshi is behind Feg. I never said that. But yeah, Satoshi is behind um, Caspa and Pip. Absolutely. Pump it parabolic. Let's go. Bullish. Yes. Absolutely looking bullish. We got to pip it up. We got to pump it up. You know. You know. We got to pump it up for the Pip coin. Man, people are going to get in so late to Pip. I'm just saying, I'm going to predict the future. All right. You know what's going to happen in the future? After Pip pumps a lot. Then it's going to be all over new YouTube. It's going to be all over the news. Everyone's going to go, oh, hallelujah. I found Pip. I found Pip finally. It's so great. And here I am like, bro, I found Pip at like 10 cents. And now you're talking about Pip, man. It's the same story. When I was first talking about Caspa, I was the only channel talking about Caspa under a penny. And then after Caspa started pumping to three cents, all the YouTubers start talking about it going, oh my God, yes, Caspa is so great. I, I can't believe I found it. Man, it's the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing. Uh, will, will it be a dollar by December, says Paul. Yeah, it probably could be a dollar by December. So let me get my price prediction. I know people are asking like, man, what's the price prediction? Um, so Pip, right now, market cap, 18 million. Hash potential to become a 100 million market cap crypto um, probably in a few months, probably in like three months. So 100 million divided by 18, 5.5x times the current price of 23 cents, a uh, dollar 27. I think pretty realistic. It's easily going to go to a dollar this year by the end of the year. Easily, <laughs> easily. 100 million market cap is nothing, dude. It's easily hitting a dollar by December. Like that's that's so easy. 100 million market cap for a crypto that has Satoshi behind it and a Binance connection and OKEx connection and a working social payment product in all the big social media platforms easily hitting a dollar by December easily <laughs> galaxy did you become a pip shiller who paid you bro now nah, I ain't I ain't get paid for this I ain't get paid for it nobody pays for me uh and Solana I understand the hate for Solana I don't like Solana either I think it's crap but it's on Solana for the tokenomics it's not like you can trade uh, uh pip on a Solana dex it's not tradable on Solana it's just a tokenomic the only way you can trade PIP is on exchanges. That's it. Yo, greet the God. What up? What's happening, man? What's going on? What on earth is PIP? Good question. What is PIP? We wonder. What is PIP? PIP going to PIP. Yeah, it's a payment coin. Absolutely. I'm in the U.S. How do I get these coins? Ernie says, also struggling to get Caspa. Bro, I'm in the U.S. and I'm getting Caspa. I'm getting PIP. It's Mexi. I'll show you. Have you tried Mexi? Here it is. Pip and Caspa are listed on Mexi. I have a link in the description below. Um, and also, by the way, everyone, you can store your Pip on the Tangem hardware wallet cards. Like, you can actually store them on the Solana network on the Tangem. Like, you see these little Tangem hardware wallet cards? You can store your Pip on these little, like, hardware wallet cards. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Recommend that. Get your Pip on the Tangem. Tangem link in the description below, too. And you can use my code GALAXY for 10% off. You should do it. Just do it. Just get the tangent cards, man. It makes storage so much easier for the PIP. Uh, Caspa support coming out soon for uh, tangent. I don't know when, but they said it should be soon. But um, yeah, Ernie, just just get your Caspa and PIP on Mexi. If 
Don't sign up with SMS. No, no SMS. I swear to God, people keep signing up with SMS on Maxi after I say no SMS. I don't understand, dude. Because when I get the referral notifications, it'll show me um, uh, the, your, your blurred out email. It'll say if you did email or SMS. It won't show me your email or SMS, but it will say if the people I referred do email or SMS. Most of you people are doing SMS. I see on my Mexi, you're doing SMS. A lot of people are signing up for Mexi on, with SMS. Do not use SMS. No, because Mexi can track your country location on the SMS and also the SMS verification. Sometimes the messages don't get sent across. Just don't do SMS. It's buggy and they're going to track your location and they're going to get your personal phone number. Don't use SMS on Mexi. Use your email and use a Google Authenticator um, app. That's it. Man. Y'all people don't listen. Y'all people keep using your SMS on Mexi. I don't understand. I keep saying don't use SMS and people keep using SMS phone numbers. Only email. That's it. Email and a Google 2FA. That's it. That's it. Now, if Mexi blocks you, if they say your country is prohibited, um, an option, I'm not saying to do it. I'm just saying you could do it, is to get a VPN and change your location. Satoshi not alive, IMO. What are you talking about, man? How is he not alive? He is alive. Satoshi Nakamoto is many people, and Bitcoin came out 15, 14 years ago. How would Satoshi just die already? <laughs> the only one on YouTube talking about Pip because you are a magic bullish bubble guy. <laughs> what? I guess. Yeah, I'm the only one who talks about it. Man, I am the only one who talks about Pip. <laughs> it's just me. No one else talks about it. No one talks about any of these gems until after they go on the big exchanges, until after they pump. It was the same story with Pip. It's the same story with Caspa. It's the same story with every gem that I find. It's always like after they get listed on big exchanges, then people talk about it. Do you believe Pip can go over a dollar, says Michaela? Yes, it can absolutely go over a dollar. And shout out to you, Michaela, for being on the Patreon and every kind word that you have ever said. Thank you so much, Michaela. Really appreciate it. I believe... It's going to a dollar, but who's ready for like the major price prediction? Michaela, are you ready for the big price prediction? Because I'm calling a dollar 27 by the end of the year. That's pretty realistic. But I think more optimistically, if Pip goes to 500 um, million market cap by the end of the year, that's a 27 X times the current price. $6 Pip. You heard it first from here. $6 Pip coin by the end of the year. Now, in the next bull run, all right, in a year from now, in two years from now, PIP has the potential to become the next top 100 market cap crypto and to become a 10 billion market cap. It could. It could easily do it if it gets on Binance and Coinbase and achieves world domination, worldwide masses of adoption. PIP could easily do all those things. It could. So if it goes to 10 billion market cap divided by 18 million, we're looking at a 550x multiplier from today's price of 23 cents, $127 pip coin. And then everyone will go, oh, yeah, I guess pip is good after all. And then they would have missed the pip coin now while it was under a dollar. Pip looking decent. <laughs> I ain't getting paid to show Shikoku. Man, Sebastian, you're, you're, you're spamming too much, man. Come on, like, why? I, I gotta put you in timeout. I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta shut you down for a few minutes because you're you're really spamming the chat. Like you got a hundred million ass messages out here, and it's really annoying. It's too many, way too many, way too many messages. Uh, Mexi works in the U.S. Can't seem to get it to let me, but let me buy. Oh, uh, Ernie, do not KYC on Mexi. Do not KYC. Do not send your personal information. Do not try to connect a bank account. Do not try to connect a credit card or a debit card. Ernie, whatever exchange you use to get your crypto normally, all you have to do is deposit USDT from your main exchange to the Mexi. That's it. That's all you got to do. Yeah, use a VPN. Volt is the next Shiva. Uh, it could be. Very well could be. Feds dropped inflation. Bro, Rowdy, the, the Fed doesn't matter. I... The Fed, it's the most over-talked about. It's, 
So here's the thing. A lot of people talk about the Fed because it gets clicks, it gets views, it gets people riled up like, oh my God, the Fed is doing something with the US dollar, the Fed and the inflation and the Fed and the crypto and the Fed and this and that. Dude, the Fed doesn't matter. Crypto is like anti-Fed. Crypto is a world of its own. Crypto has its own trajectory. No matter what the Fed does, they can't do anything to crypto. It doesn't matter. I don't care about the Fed. I don't care what the Fed does. I don't care about the interest rates. All I know is that crypto is bullish regardless of the Fed. The Fed doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't understand why all these people on YouTube keep talking about the Fed and inflation and interest rates. It doesn't matter. All I know is that inflation sucks. I know that the federal government is a big scam when it comes to money. And I know that Bitcoin is a great alternative to federal government issued money. That's all I'm saying. All of the news about Fed this and Fed that, it doesn't matter. Crypto is the one. When it comes to money, crypto is way better than fiat. So it's like, I don't care if the Fed pooped their pants today. I don't care if the Fed printed another $10 billion in cash. I don't care. I already know I'm in crypto. I already know I'm going all in crypto. I know. I don't care what the Fed does. It doesn't matter. Dude, for all I know, the Fed has potential to become the next group of homeless people after everyone starts getting into crypto. I know that's probably going to happen. And the Fed is really upset about that. They don't like that. But hey, whatever, man. It is what it is. <laughs> What's good, people? What's popping? What's going on? Smash the like button. Everyone hit the like button. Let's go. Everyone just coming in, just tuning in. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the video. Let's get it. Just buying another 1,000 pip. Man, I want to talk about becoming a uh, elite tier for pip, all right? <laughs> Who's ready for this? Alana, Pip, and I'm going to show you. Oh, Pip, hold on. This is not the right one. Okay, here. Token Pip, all right? Holders. There's 24,920 holders, okay? To become a top 100 Pip coin holder, how much money does that require? I'll show you. To be in the top 100, $2,395. Now, if you wanted to just be top 1% and not like top 0.2%, that would be the top 250 holders. So to be in the top 250 holders of Pipcoin, you would only need to have, let's see, top 250, $360 worth of Pipcoin puts you in the top 1%. Like what? 250 slash 25,000. It's 1%. Dude, UPS Gaming with $361. Um, that's actually 1,500 pip coins. You could be in the top 1% of holders. Man, what an opportunity we've been given. Dude, the top holders right now are, you know, Satoshi Nakamoto, Coinbase, Binance, Mexi, Gate.io, Bybit, and some locked wallets. Man, and I'll, I'll tell you people right now, I am in the top 100. I, I'm, I'm saying that. I am in the top 100. Now, there's no way for anyone to prove that. I can't prove that I am, but I will just say I am in the top 100 holders. I am. Looking pretty early. Dirty Dave with a $5 super chat. Let's go. <laughs> early in cash and pip equals... Alpha back in 2025. Yes, absolutely. These are the two alpha picks of the year. Caspa especially. Pip probably. Like Pip pretty alpha. You know what I mean? Like Pip is the best alpha since Caspa. I know everyone, you Dave and me especially, we love Caspa. We've been looking for the next best Caspa, the next the next best gem coin. Where is that? And it's, it's this one. It's Pip. Like we finally found it. After all this time, we finally found the gem. It's Pip and Caspa. Man, Nerdy Dave, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for being on the Patreon on the millionaire tier. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. Let's go, man. Any questions you have, anything you need, just hit me up. And thank you so much for the $5 Canadian super chat. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Sticking to Cass. Elon soured me to smaller alts. <laughs> Dude, Elon is a meme coin run by a centralized organization, Methuselah Foundation, who doesn't understand crypto. But um, yeah, stick to Cass. Cass is pretty good. Stay with uh, the Cass. One best token ever is Pip. One of the best tokens ever. Wow, it hit 26 cents. Did it actually? Man, Pip is looking good. 
Pip looking hella bullish. I'm up a lot. Like, here's what happened. All right, here's the timeline for Pip on the Galaxy, all right? One of my Patreons, he using um using my video course on Patreon on how to find bullish charts, he actually learned, Dash G, shout out to you, my man. You actually learned how this crap works. My Patreon took my video course and he found Pip here, all right? So he found Pip here. And then he shared it to another Patreon and that Patreon shared it to me here. And I did the research and I was like, hmm, very interesting. And then I went, oh my God, hallelujah, Pip is the next cash bar. And I bought a whole bunch here. And then I started making YouTube videos here. And then here we are now. So the way the information flows, it goes step by step. It's people, man. It's all about the people. People know what's going on. What is the purpose of PIP and what are they trying to do? So what are they trying to do? PIP is a social payment wallet. You see, they're integrated on Twitter, Reddit, and Discord. Um, let me see if they have pictures here. So here, you see this, Julian? Um, you see how there's like a dollar sign button on the, the Twitter? This is not Twitter doing this. It's PIP. So if you, if you install PIP as your like browser extension on your computer and you log into Twitter.com, PIP will inject the payment option onto Twitter. And so anyone, if Greg on Twitter is using PIP, you can, you can send PIP, uh, PIP coins or any network. You can send money to people back and forth on Twitter, YouTube, uh, Discord, Twitch, whatever platform you want. It's a payment crypto. It solves so many problems because we don't have any easy way to send money from person to person on social platforms, but now we do. So for example, on YouTube, I could set up my PIP, um, like donation wallet on YouTube and anyone who watches my YouTube videos could just send me crypto via PIP wallet just on my YouTube. Isn't that cool? No one has done this crap before. No one. It's really good. <clears throat> What's the market cap? 18 million or 17. Dash G says, Pip, to the moon. Let's go. And you, dude, shout out to Dash G. Everyone listen up. Dash G is the one who found the Pip coin. <laughs> Everyone bow down. Bow down to the newest gem finder on the galaxy. This is Dash G. He found Pip coin really early. Dash G. Man, shout out to you, man. I'm so glad you learned how this stuff works and you found Pip early. And thank you so much for sharing Pip coin with me. Thank you so much, Dash G. Any more gems you find, Dash G, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing the same thing. Look for the bullish charts. You know me. I say the only common denominator between every crypto is the chart. It's so easy to filter out all the nonsense and the garbage and the scams when you just look at the chart. Like I can tell a scam chart in Five seconds. It's so easy. It's so easy to tell what a scam chart is. It's like not rocket science. It's so easy. And then boom, bullish chart. Here we go. Hallelujah. Best crypto since Caspa. Mino says, oh man, I did bought PIP, but I just got a small amount. Should have put more money in. Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. I should have bought more, but I bought a lot. So I'm not too upset about it. I got a lot. Uh, Hunter says, good video. Got me on Caspa too. Never wrong with Never wrong, my G. H Money. Thanks, man. Thank you, H Money Hunter Martin. Keep watching the Galaxy. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for your support, and I'm glad you're making money. You made money on Cashball, and now you're probably going to make money on Pip. Man, y'all making so much money off of my videos. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? 10K Pip, or you're missing out, says Bitcoin. Andy, yeah, 10K is a decent number. That's a lot. That's a lot of pips. Brooklyn, Brooklyn says roadmap and next listing. Man, honestly, who cares about the roadmap? The, the, the real question is, what and when is the next listing? Probably going to be OKEX, in my opinion. Probably OKEX. Uh, baby Flocky CEO, uh, that's probably a scam. <laughs> what up, Nature? What's good and what's up, Juan? Uh, Investor Squad says, I don't know about buying PIP at these levels. Way too high at the moment. All right, man. All right. When, when Casper was 1.2 cents, Everyone said, oh, my God, Caspa is too expensive. It's at all-time highs. I'm so late. I'm not going to buy Caspa. And what do you know? Caspa did another 
300%. So I'm just saying, dude, yeah, PIP is expensive now, but it hasn't had a major pump yet. And if you join the stream late, Investor Squad, play the stream back. I gave the whole breakdown on why PIP is not expensive right now. I gave the breakdown. I'll, I'll do it again. I'll do it again because I think I really want to get this like this this message across, this idea ingrained into uh, your, your brain. All right, so here's what's going on with PIP. Here's why PIP is probably still a good buy now. Do you see this volume here? You see the launch volume? You see that, how it came up to here? And you see the volume today, how it's only about here? The height of the green candles of volume is like half the size of launch. So what does that mean? No marketing, no bull run, no mass FOMO, no new exchange listings, no new investors, no new holders. Nada, none of that. So who's buying PIP? And you're like, okay, well, if it's none of those things, then why is the price going up? This is why the price is going up. The people who already know PIP, the people already in PIP went, oh my God, I forgot PIP was the best bag I'm holding right now. I got to go buy more PIP. I got to go buy more PIP before everyone else buys PIP. So now the pre-existing whales, the holders already in PIP are just buying on top of each other. Everyone is fighting each other going, Oh, well, I, I knew Pip was the gem. And then the, the other whale said, I knew Pip was the best gem. And then all the whales are just buying on top of each other. And it hasn't exploded yet. So here's, so the TLDR is price is rising. Volume is low equals bullish signal, bullish pattern. That's what it means. Matthew Bustamante with the 999 Super Chat. Let's go. Man. Thank you so much, Matthew. Let's go, man. Thank you so much for the $10. Um, hey, bro, I know this is about PIP, but I had a question uh, about Dogechain. Would it be too crazy to think Dogechain can get to a $14 billion market cap on the bull run? I think it's not crazy. All right, maybe it's a little crazy, but here's what I was saying. Dogechain is actually looking decently bullish. Like, it's okay. Maybe it's the one. Maybe it's bullish. I don't know. I've never heard any alpha about Dogechain. I have no idea who the devs are. All I know is that it's uh, a Dogecoin um, whales playground. Like, I don't know who exactly is behind Dogechain, but the market cap is really low. It's really early. And the chart is very bullish. Like, Dogechain is a good buy today. It actually is. It's actually really cheap. I might go buy some more. I might get some. Dogechain, pretty good. Now, how high can it go? It's hard to say, right? Because it's going to be very correlated to Dogecoin. Um, Dogecoin right now is about uh, $8 billion market cap. I think, in my opinion, Dogecoin probably going to go to like a 500 billion market cap at the top of the next bull run. So, if Dogecoin goes to 500 billion market cap in the top of the next bull run, um, Dogechain, I think Dogechain could make it to the top 150 crypto. Maybe top 100 might be pushing it, but I think top 150. Um, honestly, I think Dogechain will probably hit like 1 billion. Um, Maybe maybe five billion market cap. Uh, I, I think fourteen billion would be pushing it, but you never know. Like these meme coins could explode. Um, who knows, man? Like I honestly don't know. You know what's good for Doge Chain is that they are on KuCoin, Hubi, Gate, and Mexi. So they they have the connections and the money and the power to get on big exchanges. So they have potential to become the next Binance and Coinbase listing. It all depends on if they're successful in that. Um. And that's completely out of my control, right? Like, I'm not Cheng Peng Sao. I'm not the Coinbase. I don't make the calls. I don't make the shots. I don't call it. I don't know. Um, so if Dogechain does, like best case scenario, if Dogechain does get on Binance and Coinbase and achieves world, do world domination, maybe Dogechain could hit a 5 or 10 billion market cap. Might be pushing it. Uh, I think 1 billion or 5 billion MC would be more realistic. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it depends how the, the, the crypto ecosystem grows in terms of the meme coins. It depends. And it depends on what Elon Musk does. You know what I mean? If Elon Musk tweets Dogechain, then oh my God, man, of course it could go there. But who knows? It's super speculative. So $14 billion possible. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Like I'd say 20% chance it could happen. It could. Maybe. Uh, but probably not. You know what I mean? Maybe. Probably not. But man, Thank you so much again for the super chat. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Yo.
Yo, people, hit the like button. Let's go. Let's get it for Pip. Hey, if everyone here hits the like button right now, then Pip is going to hit a dollar. I mean, that's just how it works. I, I, I caught it. I spoke it into existence. If every one of you hits the like button, Pip will go to a dollar now. And I know not everyone's going to hit the like button. So that's why I'm able to make the claim. That is why I'm able to say it will happen because I know not everyone's going to hit the like button. But I know some of you will. So please hit the like button. Hide it on Bitcoin. Wait. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah, Bitcoin white paper is in the Mac operating system. I can only buy next month with 600 euros, but right now I have no money. Oh, man, that's so sad. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Ernie with the 499 Super Chat. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks for always helping me. Bro, yeah, man, absolutely. Glad I could help out. Any more questions, bro, you have. Just, just hit me up. Any more questions at all? Man, I, I understand, like, this is really confusing. I understand Mexi and Gate.io. It's, like, really sketchy exchanges. They're not regulated in the U.S., you can't KYC. You can't use your phone number. You might get blocked. I don't know how to transfer cryptos around. I understand. I understand all this crap is like super confusing. I get it, man. I've, 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 I've got like four or five years experience now being a true DGEN, doing all the sketchy exchanges, using every wallet known to mankind, every hardware wallet. I've done it all. So I understand. So I'm, I'm happy to like help, help people out because I understand like this is really technically complicated. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to help out. Any questions you got, Ernie, just ask away. And I will say this. Like, I want to give a quick rundown on how to buy PIP and where to send it. So the thing about PIP, what I recommend is that you get it on Mexi and then send it to your hardware wallet, your Tangem. It's a, it's a card like this. And my camera won't work. All right, whatever. But you can see it. Here's the Tangem. Oh, there we go. This is the Tangem hardware wallet, the card. All you got to do is tap it to your phone and it goes ding connected crypto is unlocked and then you can uh you can access your pip coins from your tan your tandem hardware wallet and here i got the notification um open yeah you see that uh maybe it's kind of blurry but yeah it just says you can open uh your, your tandem hardware wallet thank you for connecting so it's pretty cool there's like a chip built into the tandem card it's a hardware wallet you can use the app on your phone you know how long it takes to set up two minutes you know how long it takes up to set, to set up a ledger? It takes like an hour or, or more. The ledger is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm saying set up your, um, send Pipcoin on the Solana network to your Tantrum hardware wallet and buy it on Mexi. Sign up with your email, not SMS on Mexi. Use my link in the description. I have links in the description below for everything. I got it for the Mexi and the Tantrum. Pip pumping now is a good time to buy in. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. It's an okay buy right now. I, I explained this multiple times already. Why it's a decent buy right now. I explained it. Play the video back. I explained it. It's a good buy. Carding says, hey, did you saw that the, the DeFi platform of Luna had one of the devs drain the entire liquidity pool and run away with 4 million? <laughs> no one knows who did it and the funds are frozen in exchanges. Yeah, that's hilarious. I know Luna rugged. I understand. I don't know why anyone still invests in, in rug coins. I don't get it. Anyone who buys Luna has potential to become the next homeless person and just be broke. <laughs> BL says, Galaxy really helps us on the Patreon. Really worth it. Yeah, thank you, BL, so much. Any questions you got, just hit me up. Yeah, people, just check out the Patreon. Um, The Patreon is where it's at to, so, like, learn everything. I have tutorials on here. I have guides. I'll answer all your questions. Um, It's a community. Like, it's even a self-serving community. We got 78 people. If I'm not available, somebody will help you. Like we got 78 people who are all learning this. And most people on the Patreon are really new to crypto and learning like super fast. Like people are really learning fast on the Patreon. <laughs> How do you know Satoshi is behind the project? Neil says, um, play the video back. I explained it in the first 10 minutes. I explained it. Uh, Mustaf says, Suppos supposedly you become a millionaire in 2025. Would you rather do 40% capital gains tax? or move to a tax-free country, then cash out. So Mustaf, in my country, um, the only taxes on cryptos is when you go from crypto to fiat. That's the only taxes. So when I sell my cryptos, I'm selling them to like stable coins, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, BNB, and that's not taxable. It's not. I know some people are going to say, oh, well, didn't you know it's any swap is a taxable event? It's not. I looked on the irs.gov. I looked on every government website. I looked for that information. 
I couldn't find it anywhere. It's not. A, a, a crypto swap, a swap from crypto to crypto is not taxable. The only way the government can tax you is if you exchange, if you send your crypto to an exchange and you convert it to fiat, you know, like US dollar or whatever your country's cash is, that is taxable. But a crypto to crypto swap is non-taxable. So I'll, I'll pay taxes on some of my cryptos, yes, that I do exchange to fiat, but my plan is to just um, convert most of my money into stable coins, Ethereum, Bitcoin. That's the way to cash out people. That's the way to do it without paying those stupid ass taxes. And it's legal too. I know people are like, oh, is this illegal? It's not illegal. It's legal. <laughs> it's perfectly legal. There's no law that says a swap to a crypto swap is taxable. It's, there's no law anywhere that says that. Rabbi says DNX. DNX is okay, but, um, I don't understand DNX when you can just get more cash, bro, right? Like, just get get more cash. Just got $411 worth up. Pip, nice Polongoski, nice. Can you send it to someone who doesn't have Pip? Yes. Um, so the Pip wallet supports um, the Binance Smart Chain, Polygon Chain, and Ethereum Chain, and Solana Chain. So they support all the chains. Um, you can send it to anyone who has a... PIP address set up. They don't have to hold PIP coins, but they need to have an address set up. PIP is overbought right now. I don't recommend anyone loading up right now. All right, Investor Squad. All right, I'm going a, I'm to a screenshot what you said. And then, you know, in four weeks from now, if PIP is at 40 cents, I'm going to be like, oh, but Investor Squad said it's overbought and here we are at 40 cents. So I, I, just be careful, Investor Squad. Just be careful, man. You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I was buying PIP yesterday, so I think it's still a good buy. I mean, it's not the best buy right now because it's pumping, but um, it's okay. If you're willing to hold it for a long time, then yeah, it's doing good. PIP is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God, Rabbi. <laughs> buy DNX next and Caspa. Definitely get Caspa, but man, you call them PIP some BS, bro. I'm sorry, man. Did nothing I say make any sense? The Satoshi Nakamoto behind Pip? I explained it for 10 minutes in the beginning of the video. Did that not make any sense? But apparently DNX and Nexa are better than Pip. Apparently they're better. Even we'll, 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 we'll ignore the fact that the man who invented blockchain is on the Pip team. We'll just ignore that. We'll just throw it out the window. Pip is just some bullshit coin. We'll ignore that fact. Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll just ignore the fact that David Chalm on the Pipcoin team is the first known proposal for blockchain protocol. Rabbi, we will ignore the fact that the man who invented blockchain is on the Pip team. We'll just ignore that. We'll pretend that doesn't exist. Oh, and also, David Chalm's dissertation proposed all but one element of the blockchain later detailed in the Bitcoin white paper. We'll ignore that fact, too. We'll ignore the fact that David Chalm was responsible for 99% of the blockchain technicalities in the Bitcoin white paper. We'll ignore that fact, okay? But make sure to get more DNX and Nexa, okay? Make sure to get more of those. Those are way better than PIP. There's nothing bullish about the fact that Satoshi Nakamoto and the man who invented Bitcoin and the man who invented blockchain is behind PIP. That, apparently, that's not bullish. Apparently, that's not bullish. Uh, baby Arbitrum is a scam. I don't know what it is, but it just sounds like a scam. Uh, Andrew says, tell me why we should buy it. I don't give financial advice. I don't tell you why you should buy it. You make your own choice. I just give the facts and the information. That's it. Galaxy is human psychology not to buy a coin under a dollar, but FOMO in when it's over a hundred. We'll buy PIP for sure. Yeah, exactly. It's human psychology not to buy cryptos until after they pumped. I guarantee you now, Somali Flame, that there are people right now, okay, I understand, 56 people are watching the stream, probably only like 20 people are actually holding PIP, maybe like 15 or 20 people. I understand most people watching the stream are not holding PIP, and people are kind of lollygagging, going, ah, you know, Galaxy is just some background noise. I'm kind of just curious to hear what he has to say. I'm actually more interested in Caspa 
I'm more interested in Nexa. I'm more interested in DNX. I understand most people ain't holding PIP that are watching the stream. And then you know what's going to happen? In four weeks from today, I'm going to say, yo, PIP to the moon. Wow, PIP is 40 cents. Wow, good thing we got PIP when it was under 10 cents. Pretty nice, huh? And then those same people are all going to buy PIP after it pumps. And they're going to be like, oh, dang it. I missed another one of Galaxy's Gems. Gosh darn it. I missed it. I was not paying attention. I was too lazy to sign up for sketchy exchanges. I was too lazy to do anything. And I was too distracted by Floki CEO and, you know, uh, Dynex and Nexa and whatever other crap is out there. <laughs> well, Pip also make go down like Casper. What? What up, bag holder? What up, pawn? Was Gucci Galaxy hit us with another to become the next homeless person? Yeah, I got I to gotta hit another one, man. Some of these people out here are going to be getting homeless. Some people are going to be homeless pretty soon. Cash from the bull run to a dollar? Yeah, easily. I mean, a dollar this year and next year, probably $5. And then the year after that, maybe $100. Definitely going way up. Octospace, really high risk pick. Just get a little bit of it. Um, very high risk. You know, I, I would put in like 20 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a high risk L1. Cash was, uh, cash was way better. Purple says, Hey CG, love the stream price prediction 2029 for pip. Wow, man, 2029. Let's go. And shout out to you for being on the Patreon. Thank you so much. Purple for being on the galaxy, dude. Let's go. 2029 price prediction. So if pip survives the next bull run, and if the next bull run pip hits a uh, ten billion market cap all time high, I think the preceding bull run could hit uh, maybe a one hundred bill market cap. So pip in twenty twenty nine, one hundred billion divided by eighteen million. Man, holy crap! Holy crap! I'm only what's popping? We're looking at a five thousand five hundred fifty five x multiplier times twenty three cents. That is a $1,277 cash bump in six years. Man, that is a lot. Holy crap. So if I wanted to make a million bucks, I'd have to get $783 worth of cash bump and hold it for six years. I know a lot of people ain't going to hold for six years. I know there's going to be early sellers who come back crying, going, oh, no, I sold my pip early. I knew it was the gem, but I sold it early. I sold it for the Lambo when I could have bought 50 Lambos. It's going to happen. And I'm going to be playing that funeral service video for all your people who sell early. <laughs> Archie says, yo, cash for Maxi is here. Let's go, man. Yeah. I, hey, ain't nothing wrong with being a cash for Maxi. Much respect to you. Satox coin, I have no idea. Uh, did you not say send to Phantom? Yeah, so send to Phantom. I used Phantom at first, but then I didn't realize that Tangem supported it nature. So when I learned that Tangem supported it, I was like, oh, wow, Tangem's actually better. So Phantom is okay, but I prefer Tangem just because it's a hardware wallet. So um, Phantom is all right, but like Tangem is a little bit better. So I would say do the uh, do the Tangem. Uh, is selling my ADA for PIP a good idea? Brandy, I would say selling ADA for anything is a good idea. Anyone who keeps buying ADA has potential to become the next homeless person and lose all their money and go broke and wait on a dead bag that ain't never going to pump. I'm sorry. ADA is crap. ADA is garbage. I have SafePal. Is that a good wallet? I don't know. I never tried it. I only use Ledger and Tangem. Uh, Franny, strongly recommend Tangem. Like, strongly. Um, it's the easiest one. Everyone who's used it has had nothing but good words to say about it. It's this little... It's this card. It's so easy to use. You just tap it to your phone. That's it. You see how it's a, a card? You tap it to your phone and you can manage all your crypto on your phone. It's really easy. Like this is the next step up of like code hardware wallets. Now, I would say SafePal, the benefit is that it's less accessible. But like if you can like resist the urge to sell and if you can like actually have control over your emotions in crypto, Franny, um, try the Tangem. Tangem hardware wallet. Super good. Super easy to use. Again, it's just like this little physical card. Tap it to your phone and ding, it unlocks your crypto. Hella easy to use. They support all of the major cryptos. And, and pretty soon, Caspa coming out on Tangem. So yeah, check it out. I have a, a, a code, a promo code in the description, Galaxy. If you use my promo code, 
you can get 10% off the Tangem hardware wallet. Really cheap. I mean, a Tangem three-pack is $55. A two-pack is $43. This is the cheapest hardware wallet on the market at the, at the time. And if you use my code, you get another 10% off. So you'll, 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 you'll even save more money. Very cheap. Strongly recommend it. If you're not sure, just try it out. It's really cheap. <laughs> Rabbi has the chance to become the next homeless person. Yeah, Rabbi could. Rabbi could very well become the next homeless person if he uh goes all in Dynex. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Dynex, but like Caspa is much safer than Dynex. One Caspa available on a hardware wallet. Um. I don't really know when, Javier. They're they're working on it. They said that it should be soon, but I don't know when. It could be a month. It could be two months. I don't know. But um, Tangem is going to be the next hardware wallet to support Caspa. It's Tangem. Check out the Tangem. That's the one. Why do you dislike Ada so much? Been on my watch list, to be honest. So uh, many reasons. Many reasons why Ada is a scam. Ada, USDT. Sorry, USD. But here's the thing. Reason number one. Um, all right, who's ready? Get your coffee, get your tea, get your notepads. Um, Galaxy is about to explain his, you know, five reasons why ADA is a scam and why no one should buy it nor consider it. All right. Here's the all-time ADA chart. Reason number one why ADA is a scam is because the chart is a pump and dump. Now, if you don't know what a pump and dump is, it basically means the price like goes straight up and then it goes straight down. And then I know your next thought is, well, hold on. I thought that only newly launched coins at micro caps can be pump and dumps. How could a macro big cap be a pump and dump? Galaxy, how is that possible? I'm saying the market cap size does not matter when you're looking for chart patterns. All that matters is the age of the chart. That, that kind of matters. But when it comes to market cap, um, a chart is a chart, like a pattern is a pattern, regardless of the market cap size. Now, understandably, market caps are important, but when you're looking at a chart, the market cap doesn't matter that much, right? So pump and dump. I, I will prove that this is a pump and dump. I mean, it's, it's, it's really obvious from the visual that Cardano was a pump and dump. I mean, look, price went straight up, price went straight down. If Cardano would have held a new price floor... Here, I would have said, yes, Cardano looking bullish. Good blue chip. Goodbye. But no. You see this? You see what happened here? Cardano broke down a key level right here. And this is a huge disrespect. From who? The Cardano team. The Cardano whales. The Cardano early investors. Charts don't dump like this randomly. The only way for a price to dump significantly is from the top 1% of holders. The top 1% of holders control and dictate the market for said crypto because they have a lot of money. So the top 1% of holders, who is that? It's the team. And why is it the team? Because the team gets first dibs on every crypto when it launches. So the Cardano team, somebody on the team, I'm not calling out the whole team, but some people on the Cardano team who got most of the tokens said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to just sell all my Cardano. Peace. Goodbye. I'm going to take my money. I made my millions. Thank you all so much. Adios. That's what happened. So, so uh, Cardano is a pump and dump. Um, the team is slowly exit scamming. It's a pump and dump crypto chart looking like crap. It's a crap chart, pump and dump. All right. My next reason why Cardano is a scam. Cardano is not even adopted. Tron is more adopted than Cardano. Tron is more used globally as a blockchain network than Cardano. So Tron is more used. Ethereum is more used. Polygon is more used. Uh, what else is there? BNB chain is more used. There are so many networks out there, layer ones and layer twos that are way more used than Cardano. Cardano has been nothing <clears throat> but false promises for years. False promise after false promise, they never deliver. They don't get adopted. And the devs and the team of Cardano decided to say, you know what? We're just going to start dumping on, on your ass. We're going to dump on your ass. We're just going to sell. I'm just saying, only the big holders, only the whales, only the devs and the team have enough Cardano 
to cause a pump and dump chart. And that's it is what it is. No disrespect. I mean, they want to do their exit scam. They got to make their money somehow. Fine. So be it. But I'm not going to join that project when it's done. I'm looking for cryptos that I can buy here. You see that? Before the pumps, not after the pumps. Why would anyone buy Cardano here after the dumps, after the pumps, after the dumps? It's late. It's like too late. The time to buy any crypto is here. This is the time to get into crypto. So all I'm saying, Ernie, is look for cryptos that have potential to become the next Cardano and to be the next pumping coin and to become the next top 10, to be the next Binance listing, to be the next Coinbase listing. Cardano is a done deal. It's dead. Everyone knows about it. It's not adopted. And the dev team is exit scamming. It's dead. Baby Casper, that is a scam. Oh, my God. Anything with baby in its name, um, except for Baby Doge, is probably a scam. Do not buy it. Do not buy Baby Casper, Baby Floki, Baby this, Baby that, Baby Pip. Baby, hey, there could be a Baby Leon coin. There could be a Baby Galaxy coin. It's the same tried, it, tried it, tired scam every time. I uh, think Arbitrum is a scam. Yeah, Arbitrum probably a scam. I mean, not like they were trying to be on scam on purpose, but they don't know how to, like, actually launch a coin they, they thought they could just airdrop everybody and that it wouldn't dump so looking pretty bad i don't recommend arbitrum if you're looking for layer twos brooklyn um check out optimism polygon and uh myria those are decent ethereum layer twos but arbitrum is crap i'm sorry it's, it's probably a scam I, I don't recommend arbitrum that's terrible absolutely garbage do not recommend Jorge Lamas says, bro, to be honest with you, I'm homeless. There's nothing wrong with that. I eat and sleep in homeless shelters. And guess what? I still got fat bags of all the above. I'm all in crypto. Man, are you serious? Are you like actually homeless and you're doing crypto? I don't believe you, man. I don't believe that you're living in shelters, but you're holding cryptos. I don't believe that. <laughs> like what? I told to a man to check Pip on his live. He did a deep dive and said Pip was a good find, looking good. Won't be surprised if he makes a video. Yeah, all these other YouTubers, they're all gonna uh they're all gonna start looking at Pip eventually. They're gonna be like, oh, so Pip is decent, huh? Um, uh, and then you're gonna have the technical analysis traders going, Oh, well, here's the falling wedge for Pip, and here's the uh the short term outlook, and here's where I would short it, and here's where I would long it. And then those same losers are just gonna sell Pip early. And then there's gonna be other people saying, Oh, well, Pip is a cool payment platform thing and then it's like dude do we really care about the tech or do we care about the money i'm just being real no one's here because they care about pip's tech <laughs> no one actually cares it matters to get it to pump but no one actually cares pip is developing their own mobile payment app wallet it's called peer check the homepage webpage of peer peer will add lots of utility to pip Peer, you got to be more specific. I don't know what peer is. If I just Google peer, I don't think I'll get it. Like peer is just a very common word. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, Pip is developing all their own stuff. Yeah, they're, they're, that, that, that's pretty cool that they're coming out with that. Um, is that on the Pip website? I don't know where that is. You got you to tell me where it is. And also you can't post links. YouTube just doesn't allow, allow links. That's not my choice. That's YouTube's choice. They don't let people post links. But um, yeah, I don't know where that is. You would be surprised how many people are homeless and invested in crypto. Really? There's a lot of homeless people in crypto, actually? That's crazy. I never knew that. I mean, I'm sure it's possible. I'm not like it's impossible, but it's, it just sounds kind of odd. You know what I mean? Like, if you're homeless, you probably don't have much money. So how do you have money in crypto? I, I don't understand. Will Pip do a retracement? Um, probably not. Pip probably not going to retrace. I said so many times why Pip is not going to retrace. Man, y'all got to play the video back. Play back the stream. I explained so many times why Pip ain't going to retrace. Oh, products drop down. Thank you so much. All right, peer. Ah, peer money. Let's go. Money for all. Um, wow, is that a credit card? Dope. Looking sick. Money for us. Uh, have you wondered why Cash App works in the U.S.? Blah, blah, blah. Why are they all local? 
I can't we send a dollar overseas? Yeah. Nice. So they're coming out with an app. That's awesome, man. Thanks for sharing this. This is really cool. This is good for the pip coin. Let's go. Thank you, Habibur Ramen. Thank you very much. Bro, I'll show you. And I'm an Amazon worker. Just started. I was doing bad, but I'm getting better. And I don't want to rent. I need my dog's coin. What? Man. All right. Well, time for the Patreon show. Who's ready for the Patreon show? I know people are like, oh, man, the Patreon show. But I know one of you is thinking about the Patreon. And, man, these spots are filling up fast. Two spots on VIP. I'm getting so close to upping the price on these levels. I am. I've done it before. The Patreon used to be cheaper a month ago. And a, and a month from today, I'm raising the prices. I'm sorry. I, I have to do it. People are making a lot of money in here. We made so much on Caspa. We're making a lot on PIP. And we're going to make more on PIP. And then there's going to be a new PIP coming out in like four weeks. And the people on the Patreon, the select few, 78 people get first dibs. The gems are on the Patreon. I'll explain how this works. Why is the Patreon so cool? So here's the timeline of the PIP. PIP was first discovered on Patreon here. It was first talked about. And then the first buy alert for PIP came out here on Patreon. But then the YouTube videos came out here. So what I'm saying is that the information goes through Patreon first and Discord first. I don't do it on purpose, but like I'm busy. And so I don't make YouTube videos every single second. It takes time for me to research, um, do my due diligence on the crypto, find the websites and everything. So I'll do the buy alert first. And I'll make a Patreon post first. And then once I have all my information gathered, I'll do the YouTube videos. So, I mean, you can still make money following my YouTube videos, but if you're trying to be like, an extra step ahead uh, and get my buy alerts and get in like ASAP on PIP. Man, I caught out PIP on the Patreon back here. And now we're all up 200% or 100%. We're up 2X, looking pretty good. So if you would have got on Patreon and got in at the buy alert, let's see. You would have been up from my buy alert. You would have been up 132%. I'm serious. If you're on the Patreon and you follow my buy alert, you would be up 132% on PIP. But I understand some people want to save money. You don't want to join Patreon. You'd rather get the free content on YouTube and ape and late. That's cool too. Uh, I, I, I'm all cool with it. I, I'm cool with it. It's it's up to you. It's it's up to you. Dirty Dave with the $5. Man, thank you so much. Patreon is where the early inflow, <laughs> inflow, info flows. Join. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Nerdy Dave knows what's up. Man, shout out to you. Thanks for being on the Patreon. Um, Nerdy Dave is on the millionaire tier. So, people, if you really want, you get the buy alert, sell alerts. The millionaire tier also, I'm doing custom portfolio reviews. Any questions you have about your cryptos, your portfolio, shuffling coins around, millionaire tier. I will personally help you out in the DMs on your portfolio. And also watch list because Pip got added to my watch list before I bought the PIP coin. So there are other coins on my watch list now that have potential to become the next PIP coin, to be the next pumping coin, and to be the next, you know, big exchange listing. So the watch list gets the cryptos really early. But um, but if you're like super alert, you can follow the buy alerts and you would have got the PIP buy alert. So I'm just saying, it's not all loss. You're like, oh man, I missed the buy alerts on PIP. I'm just saying, there's <laughs> the gems keep coming. There's going to be more gems in four weeks from today or in two weeks or in six weeks. I don't know when, but another gem is going to come across my desk and I'm going to go, whoa, buy alert. I'm buying this mega buy alert. And then it's going to go up 130% in like a week. So I'm just saying, give the Patreon some consideration. The choice is yours. Um, the, the tiers are going to sell out and then the price on these are going up. The prices will go up. So check out the Patreon. Check it out. Definitely worth it. Nerdy Dave, especially the Discord. Yeah, another great point here is the Discord. Dude, we get the Discord group and we have like, you know, instant information and tech support on the Discord. We're very active in that group all the time. The Discord is where it's at. The Discord is popping, man. And I know a lot of people are really shy. You're like, oh, I don't want to talk in the Discord. I'm too shy. I'd rather just watch and consume information. That's cool. 
the Discord still has tons of really quality information. The Discord, the Discord is where Pip first came up. So, like, if you're looking for more gems before I even send the buy alert out, they go on the Discord because people are like dropping gems, going brr, gem, 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 gem. I think this is a gem. I think that is a gem. They go on the Discord, and I, I, I watch them, and I, and I, I, I analyze every gem that's dropped on Discord, and then I went, boom, Pip is the best gem right here, and then I buy it. But yeah, Discord has other information about like, dude, we answer questions of like. How to use Maxi, how to use Tangem, how to transfer crypto, how to set up, you know, wallets, how to use sketchy exchanges. We answer all those questions on the Discord, all of them. The Discord is the best part of the Patreon. I am out. Yeah, the Discord is a great part of the Patreon. It's a really good part of it. We should we should show people what exactly is the Patreon. Let's see. Where is my Discord? Here it is. So here's the Patreon. Or sorry, here's the Discord connected to the Patreon. We're really active in here. Dude, we're talking about Pip. We're talking about this, talking about that. Man, I got to catch up on some messages here. Oh, my God. What is going on? We got so much going on in here. Where's, so here. And, and before I start the live streams, I, I post the heads up in, in um, Discord. So you can get notifications on Discord. Oh, and I forgot the one of the uh, – another thing is I do is that um, on the Patreon – I have more videos on cryptos. I talk about Bitcoin, Pipcoin, Myria, Caspa. I have more videos. So I used to put all my videos up on YouTube, but now I'm doing like a 50-50 split. I'm putting half my videos on YouTube, half on Patreon because I got I to gotta, I gotta take care of my Patreons first. I, my Patreons are my number one priority. I really appreciate my Patreons. I could not do what I do without you. The Patreon is my number one priority. So that's why now when I make videos, it's going... 50 50 uh patreon and youtube but yeah check out the, the discord is hooked up um there's also the buy alerts are right here uh the sell alerts are up here the watch lists are here we got um individual private groups for each tier and then this is the general chat room for anyone on any tier honestly so yeah definitely worth a look worth some consideration is the patreon let's see Here we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll show real quick. So if you're thinking about the Patreon, I have a 10-minute video, private video just for Patreon. I'm talking about the over-level overview about the next bull run coming, and I'm giving you my personal experience from the last bull run because I learned a lot of crap from the last bull run. I did. I made a lot of money. I lost a lot of money, and I'm going to correct my mistakes for the next bull run. 10-minute video right here only on the Patreon. Another video. Myria coin, another gem on my radar that I bought. Very bullish on this one long term. Could be the next Gala, the next Sandbox, the next Axie. This is not even up on YouTube yet. I want my Patreons to get first dibs on gem information. They get first dibs. So Myria is another coin. I got a video on the Patreon. Talk more about the bull run. I got another couple videos on Caspa. My Caspa cash out plan to make millions. These are videos. These are like YouTube videos, but only for the Patreon. And you can unlock every video today for 20 bucks. Man, what a deal. I got to raise these prices. This is cheap. I got to raise the prices up. Seriously, considering uh, VIP. Yeah, you can upgrade to VIP, Michaela, if you want. Um, Patreon will just deduct the, the difference in your, your membership. That's all it's going to do. It'll just deduct the difference. And you can upgrade at any time if you're interested. Um, you know, like I showed earlier, Michaela, you can get my buy alerts and sell alerts. The main thing is the buy alerts because, um, yeah, the buy alerts and sell alerts are helpful for those new to crypto. Yeah, it's helpful because I'm trying to time my buys at the bottom and get in early. And, you know, my, my first pit buy alert came right here. That's when my buy alert was because I was like, yo, look really cheap. I'm going to buy some pip. And that was the buy alert. Someone loaded up on 50K pip and Mexi. Dang, dude. I'm saying some people don't understand that I apparently I have a lot of influence. Like I hear people telling me they put tens of thousands of dollars into cryptos because of my videos and information. So even though I'm a small channel, apparently I have a big influence. So I think that says something that the whales are actually like people with lots of money are actually listening to me. Like that's, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? That's, that's pretty crazy. That's nuts, dude. 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure people are watching right now. People are watching this video. Um, people are looking for confirmation why to buy. Now, I'm not saying you should buy it because I'm not a financial advisor, but <clears throat> I understand people are dropping tens of thousands of dollars after seeing the information I put up. Man, people made a ton of money on Casper when I was making my first Casper videos. And people send me the messages all the time. Like, yo, man, thank you so much about Caspa. I made $10,000. I made $40,000. I made $80,000. I'm like, damn, dude, that's crazy. And even some people were joining Patreon, not for the benefits, but they said, yo, man, I made so much money on Caspa. I just want to give back because you gave to me. You gave me free information. So I just want to give back to you and support your work. Thank you so much for the videos. And I was like, wow, man, thank you so much. Like, I I'm glad people are actually making money um, based on the information and entertainment. That I provide. I think that's awesome, man. People are making money out here. Gemini, another Patreon. Thank you, man. Let's go. Yeah, man, let's get it. We're going to make more money with PIP. Uh, whether people love it or hate it, we're going to make money on PIP. And then there's going to be more gems coming out. So, yeah, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. Uh, Mexi, link in the description. Tangem, link in the description. And, oh, ho hold on, hold on. Before I end, hold on, hold on. JD says, don't listen to this moron. He lives with his mommy, still shows no TA, and has you jumping on moving trains. Not financial advice, but my advice on Patreon, effing dip S. <laughs> JD has potential to become the next homeless person and to start losing a lot of money because he thinks a technical analysis with a whole bunch of lines is going to make money. Dude, JD, my portfolio is up 2x from the, the, from the beginning of the year to today. All right, JD, I don't know how much you've made, but I'm pretty sure you're down. Like you're not making money. So I'm sorry, JD. I'm really, I'm honestly sorry for you, JD, that you're not making money. I understand that you're a broke ass. I know you're, you're, you're poor. And the only way for you to feel good about yourself is to call out YouTubers like, oh, well, this YouTuber doesn't know anything. And, and apparently you do, JD. JD, what is your credentials? Huh? What do you know about crypto? If you knew so, so much about crypto, if you had so much money, you would not be wasting time talking to me on this stream. You wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. So I know you're full of shit, JD. I know you're full of shit. And I think you're hilarious. I, I appreciate the trolls. Please keep trolling. I think you're funny. All right. So now I'm actually going to come, come to the end of the stream. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Smash the like button. Um, and, and say your prayers for JD because he's going to be the next homeless person. I, I'm so sorry, JD. And also, people, check out the Patreon Link in the description. Mexi, link in the description. Tangent Wallet, link in the description. Use my code. Galaxy, everybody, thank you so much for watching and peace.